Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wookie, and I'm back with more Paper Mario. That's right, say hello to the people, Mario. Whoops. Boom. Alright, we're gonna continue on what we were doing last, which was ch doing the tattle and talking to all these toads. <laughs> There's many strange toads around. Tell me about this guy. Uh, this toad has tried his skills at the dojo. That takes guts. That's not how you talk. That takes guts. Someday I'm gonna try it all by myself. Oh? <laughs> you don't have it? The degree, Mario. The degree shows how strong you are. Haha. <laughs> I have it. I fought at the dojo over there and got it from the master. I am one bad toad. Hey, Mario. Do you know you can carry up to ten items? You can't carry on more items. It's a good idea to get to a shop like this and ask them to hold items for you. You can even claim the items at any other shop. Pretty convenient, huh? Tell me about this toad. This toad always stands in front of the shop. He knows all about items. Never moves as far as I can tell. Maybe he's trying to get a tan. By the way, I like this video because this is all this video is really going to be. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm going to eventually get going. Mario, have you gone back to your house yet? Luigi was wondering how you were doing. You can go home through that pipe in front of the main gate over there. You can enter the pipe by standing at the edge and pushing down the control stick. Say, why don't you give us a tour of your house someday? He doesn't seem to have any particular reason to be at the dojo. He's not fighting. He just loiters around checking out the fighters. <laughs> Maybe he just likes watching tough guys. I don't know. I better cheer for us if we challenge the master. Above us on the top floor, there is a dojo. We are here always, training at the dojo. Unless our master isn't here, in which case the dojo is closed. The letter just arrived saying the master will return soon. We will train again soon. Our master is wandering the world to purify his mind and train his body. Our master has a strong man. Was a strong man. He's going to come back a very strong man. We will wait here, right here, until master returns. Waiting is part of our training. He's one of the trainees who's always at the dojo. His name's Lee. He's like an older brother to Chan. Lee respects the master above all else and hangs in every word he says. I get it. Named after Bruce Lee and Jackie Chan. That's Chan. He's one of the trainees. Seems to always be at the dojo. He worships the master. I mean, it's like all well and good for Chan to admire the master, but I prefer Mario. You know what I'm saying? I'm gassing you up, Mario. Can you tell me about honey syrup? This is West Hester's the Toe Town, in case you couldn't tell, it's the main gate. The fancy gate and the star emblem in the ground are symbols to the fair town. Go to village where my house is, a brief journey west from here. You'll find a very smart toad named Rusty living in this town. He knows a lot of useful information for adventures. You'll also find shops to sell various items. Oh yeah, there's also a dojo. Thanks for the breakdown, dude. That's the toad that runs this shop. He buys, sells, and checks items. If you don't manage what you're carrying, well, he may not be able to hold anything. Check items when you can. Alright, let's go visit Luigi. Let's go visit Luigi's in Luigi's mansion. Look at him over there. Oh. I wonder where my Mario brother... My Mario brother... <laughs> I wonder what my brother Mario is doing right now. Hello, I'm Mario! It's you! Good to see you, bro! I was literally just talking about you. And you're alright! After all that castle craziness, I was really worried about you. I ran outside just as the earthquake started, so I managed to escape in time. Oh? And who are you? I'm Bumbario, nice to meet you. I see. Great. Uh, great. Just great. You're in, uh, you're on an exciting adventure with Mario. Talk about unfair. See, someone has to look after the house so I can't leave off. Oh, well, take care of Mario, okay? I love how Paper Mario has made Luigi the most bitter twin in the world. Hey, he's Luigi. I don't have to say anything about him, do I? He's your brother. I don't know. Look, look. Good luck, Mario. You can have the, you can save that princess. I believe in you. I'm kind of pissed that you, uh, you know, I'm just saying, he's a, uh, 
He's a Goomba. You know, the guy we constantly beat. The first enemy we always beat, Mario. I'm just saying, I think I'm better than a good... We're gonna have to talk about this later. No, oh, you can tell me. It's your house! It's your house! Cool! Nice landscaping. I like my house, but yours is even nicer. Did you do the decorating yourself? I'm digging the style of this place. Here's this box where letters addressed to Mario go. It's empty right now. We will talk about that later. And also, when we get a skill later, we'll have some stuff to look at. Oh, okay. Cool. That was Mario's house. Let me see. Can you sex it? Okay, yeah. Little Luigi. Let's see, I think I talked to everyone here. I, saw, I spoke to the lovers in the previous episode. I'm going here. Am I gonna use an item? What? I was trying to use Tattle. She's the homemaker here. She's ordinary, very relaxed, and easy going. Since her lazy husband is home, she's working harder than ever right now. This housework piles up every day, but somehow she manages all with no help. Where does she get the energy? Oh, busy, busy. The room doesn't get tidy though when my darling's at home. You, man, you picked up a lot of fucking shit from that one tattle boy. <laughs> this family man don't really works at Peach's castle. He was on his day off when the castle disappeared. Talk about your basic lucky coincidence. Wow. He's a very reliable worker at the castle. Mm, but he never does chores around the house. The earthquake when the castle flew was terrifying. Everything was shaking the ground, the houses, I fell right over. It was so horrifying, I just like to forget it ever happened. Hmm. My dad works at the castle, so he's not at home usually. Now the castle's gone, so he's home. I said I'm glad because dad's home, I got scolded. What's up with that? It's fucked up. I feel you. He's one of the tail kids, he likes his father so much that he always tries to sneak into the castle. He's about the same age as I am, but sometimes- Wow, fucking really? <laughs> we sometimes play together when I come to- Wow, the lore. I guess he's a pretty good friend of mine. The fucking lore, man. This kid's a dick. Don't believe he's a toe kid who wants to be really powerful. He thinks that having power solves everything. So why are you thinking is a little bit different from mine? He's a good enough guy, though, when we play together. I just don't believe in totalitarianism. Princess Peach was kidnapped. I'm gonna save her! But Mom told me I had to get a good plan to stay home. I'll come. Hmm. Don't believe it. No, I have to. I have to do some shit in order to get right there. See, that's what I like about this game is that it feels like a giant uh, world to live in. Let me talk to these ladies. Yeah, I think they're the traveling sisters, from what I remember. So I'm gonna talk to them first. Peach's castle! Peach's castle flew away! How could such a thing happen? What? We'll become a Princess Peach and the others who were in the castle. I'm scared. I'm scared. Ah, Felicity! I'm so scared. She's one of the second oldest of these three Toad sisters. Apparently they call themselves the three beautiful sisters. She obviously works pretty hard with makeup to look gorgeous. I guess, kind of cute. What do you think, Mario? Do you think I got a shot? I'm, you know, there's an age difference that I feel most women are put off with, but, you know. You know, we'll talk about this later. We'll talk about it later. She's the oldest of the three Toad sisters. Apparently, they call themselves the three beautiful sisters. I personally don't think they're that attractive, but I guess for Toads, they are. Goombas and Toads think about beauty in different ways, I guess. What do you think, Mario? I'm just saying the third one ain't, they ain't doing it for me. She's too old. She's the youngest of these three Toads and apparently call themselves the three beautiful sisters. She says she's cute. I definitely think she's the cutest of the three. Hmm. I mean, do I think she's the cutest? Which one of these is the cutest? If you're watching this video, which one of these three beautiful sisters that we can only assume is older than Goombario because they don't look like the tiny baby kids. So they're all adult women, so feel free to <laughs> talk about them in any way you want. Um, we got Felicia T. We got the oldest sister. 
who we didn't get the name, so we're gonna call her Green, the Green Beautiful Sister, and the Orange Beautiful Sister, and for simplicity's sakes, the Purple Sister. Get back to me on that. I'm looking forward to your responses to anyone who's been watching 10 minutes of me talking to these toads. This guy often knows rumors. He's counting on you, Mario. You won't let him down, will you? Hey, Mario, where is your needed on Shooting Star Summit? You've never been? You go through the blue gate there and the bare right of the Peach's Castle. Oops, I forgot. Peach's Castle is gone. The theft of our castle caused great destruction here. The worst of it happened in the center of town. It seems to rain wood. As a result, we can't get to the southern part of town. The train station, the port, many important things lights out. Not being able to get there is a great inconvenience to me and to everyone. He's a toad who often thinks about going south. Maybe his girlfriend's there. Or maybe he just has a lot of friends from there. He's pretty chatty. Toe Town Newsflash. Princess Peach kidnapped, castle uprooted. A few days ago, Princess Peach's castle was stolen. She was inside and it presumed kidnapped. The whereabouts of the princess are unknown. And where the castle once stood, there is now a gaping hole in the ground. According to witnesses, the castle rose into the sky. As soon as we get new information, we'll post follow-up reports on this board. So many people to talk. I'm gonna go to... Yeah, these dudes. Hey, mister! You're a customer, aren't you? Dad's prepping to open the shop soon, so I guess you gotta wait a little while. Hey, what's up? Good to meet you, bud. Ralph's the name. Oh, it was Ralph. I had to talk about Ralph the dog. Ralph's the name. Starting. Oh no, this is kind of how Ralph talks, I guess. Ralph from the Muppets. I'm not sure if that's actually how he talks though. Well, Ralph's the name. I'm starting up a little business in Toad Town. Still setting up though. You know, we we'll want to see you back in here when we open, all right? This guy's pretty funky. His name's Ralph, and he sells badges. Travels all over the world buying and selling things. I'm a little jealous. Not gonna lie, very jealous. This is Roof. <laughs> He's Ruff's dog. He's rough skin. <laughs> he looks kind of like Ralph, right? He's supposed to be helping, but it looks like he's a pain. Well, it's Ralph's problem, not mine. Well, it's none of my business. Water and dirt, sunshine power, beautiful plumes, beautiful flowers. Hello, my name is Minty. Please enjoy the beauty of this flower garden. I've heard there's a lovely flower we don't have here. Supposedly bulb bulbs have the only known seeds. This is what a bulb bulb looks like. If you find bulb bulbs, could you get seeds for me? I'll plant them in this flower garden and raise them lovingly. She takes care of flowers. Her name is Minty. Nobody can match her skills at growing flowers. She must have a green thumb. Flowers feel Minty's love and shows in their blooms. Alright. Enough toe talk. Not worth that to me. I'm gonna, the toe talk will continue, actually. <laughs> Look at Minty, always with the flowers. She's as pretty as a rose. Just watching her from a distance makes me happy. You fucking stalker. Seems like this town is always in love with someone. Right now, he lacks Minty. Make in good spirits as long as he can be near her, he'll be happy. Ah, that feels weird though, right Mario? Are you the only one here feeling a little bit? Yeah, yeah, it, it's, it's, it's kind of weird. Okay, I'll well, we'll agree on that. Up on Shooting Star Summit, there are two siblings uh, named Merluvi and Merlo. Merluvi tells fortune she's good at finding badges and star pieces. When you take star pieces to Merlo, he'll trade them for badges. These two could help, you know? You gotta go meet them. This guy knows uh, tons of gossip. His favorite subject is the brothers and sisters who live on Shooting Star Summit. Sometimes it's tough dragging information out of him, but then again, sometimes it's worth it if you're curious. This is the central area of Toad Town, a plaza in front of Princess Peach's castle. Pleasant Patch begins to the east of here. Peach used to be a bustling area before Bowser's attack. Guess the castle war was in and out. And tourists come from all over to see the castle. The wizard Merlin also lives around here. If we get stuck, it's worth telling might help you out. There's also a toad house where you can take a short rest and post office where you can pick up mail from the party managers. Also by the flower garden, this guy named Ralph who's uh, opened his own specialty shop. Oh yeah, before we go to Shooting Star Summit, there was another toad I wanted to talk. Tattle. He's a funny color for a toad. I've never seen him before. 
I'm just saying it's a little suspicious. Or as my fellow kids say, sus. It's dangerous out. It's dangerous out there. I wouldn't go. Oh wait, Ja, you shouldn't go. Nope, no go. Sorry, but no. Suspicious. These four toads in different colors that speak like. These building materials used to be stacked by the road, but now they all come down when the earthquake hit. Unfortunately, it's impossible to go to the south side of town with all scattered wood. Don't worry, we're stacking as quickly as possible. I know it's inconvenient, but please bear with us while we get everything in order. This toad is diligent and very hard working. He has a great er worth acting. <laughs> Already has a bit of a crush on Merluvia, who lives on the Shooting Star Summit. Really? Well, kind of interested now. When does Gumbario start and when do I start? That's the true question. Questions that will never truly be answered. Hmm. Greetings! The name is Paracary. I deliver letters. His name's Paracary. He delivers lit. You literally, I just met him this second, Mario. He's a paratroop paratrooper who works for the post office. He's well known for being the slowest mailman around. Slow mailman, that can't be good. I'm just saying, I sure am glad he's not on our party. You slow ass, <laughs> worthless ass paratrooper. This paratrooper looks extremely serious and stubborn and hard headed. If you have a letter coming, he'll give it to you. I wonder if he has one for me. Good time to ask. Yes. Hello, this is the post office. We can read any letter that arrives for you for your party members. Please drop by now and then to check and see if you've received any mail. Well, you seem to have some mail. Which one would you like to read? Goombaria. Red and blue Goombas. Here you go. Uh, I'm trying to remember these fucking dudes. I think they were French. But vaguely Mexican at the same time. Uh, ho oh, oh, Gumbario, you are a lot stronger than you look. We figured you were just some punk Goomba hanging around with Mario. Anyway, you proved yourself to us and you showed us that being good is as important as being strong. So, when you come back, do you think maybe we could be friends? Please say yes. We'll be waiting, red and blue Goomba brothers. We'll keep the letters for you. Come by anytime you want to read some letters. Okay. Okay, we're gonna go shoot a star summon now. For realsies. Oh god! It's all gone, man! It's all fucking gone! I can't believe the Princess Peter's castle was here just a little while ago. Wow! I was in the castle when it started to shake, but my lightning quick feet got me out. I know Luigi made it out along with maybe a few others, but everyone else was taken. Liam needs some style. He's a toad. He never fails to go for a walk even if it's nasty out. He also loves cleaning for some reason. He cleans like crazy. That's some crazy lore. Smack. Okay. Wee. Wee. Wait. This place feels strange and mysterious, doesn't it? We go east from here, we'll eventually get to Shooting Star Summit. What do you got to say about here? Peach's Castle. Used to be here. Not anymore, though. There's not even a trace of it now. How awful. We must have really sucked, man. How did... You know, I've been thinking about this. How do you think Bowser was able to get the, the, his ship underneath there? You know, I've been asking that a lot by myself. We don't really know. Bowser seems to have an infinite supply of money. This is the house of an amazingly gorgeous woman, the fortune teller Merluvi. Merlo, who collects star pieces, also lives here. This house pulls it with psychic power. Can you feel it? Feels weird. Feels like floating on some sort of spiritual cushion. She's a gorgeous lady named Merluvi. I can't believe I'm in the same room with her. She foresees events and chooses her magic power to find what you're looking for. She's very accurate. I think I'm in love. She's incredible. Pinch me, will you, Mario? Now, here's the question. Is Merluvi 
prettier than the gorgeous Toad Sisters. I'm gonna say bold stance. I think she is. Ah, oh, my my! I foresaw your arrival, Mario. My name is Merluvi. I'm a stunning fortune teller. My noble calling is to read fortunes while looking absolutely ravishing. I can help you find what you seek. My twinkle star here will show you all that's hidden. My my. I don't know why Seductress also has to be Southern, but here you go. Tell me, shall I read your fortune? I know where to go, but sure. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, no way. Star Pieces. Star Pieces isn't my, my. Hmm, okay. I'm not read your fortune with grace and unrivaled good looks. Wah! <laughs> twinkle light, twinkle bright. Wow! Woo! Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah! <laughs> Master Star fill my eyes with the light of which I seek. Twinkle. I like her style for sure. I'm a big fan of the um, character whose face is hidden, such as Black Mage from the original Final Fantasy. It's a good look. I see a star piece. You smash the tree beside bulletin board near the roof of the spinning roof. Peace tumbles down to you. Have fun! Nice lady. I like her accent, personally. He's Merlot. He's about the same age as I am. I wanna... I was about to say, I wanna plow his sister. <laughs> I wanna play with him when we finish our adventure. I guess he trades spark pieces for badges. Merluvi, he's now, uh, who's downstairs as his sister. He's so lucky. Um, I'm. Let me see. What would be good? Would he also be southern? Because it's in the family. I don't know how to do a kid southern. Howdy! I'm the famous Merlo of the Shooting Star Summit. I collect star pieces. I have the biggest collection. Mister, you have any star pieces? If you do. I'll swap some cool badges for him. How about it? Let's swap. Which badge do you want to swap for? Attack effects. Payoff. Chill out. I kind of like this one. But let me see. Pretty lucky. Hmm. Hmm. I want this. It's at power 25. So it's gonna be a while before I can get it. I'll hold off to it for now. You know, I think this would be pretty lucky. I'm gonna get this for now. I'm gonna exchange chill out for three star pieces. A number of PP only for this badge is two. Is this badge you want? Alright, these star pieces really help print out my collection. Please come back and swap more with me sometime. We're gonna have a talk about uh, how you think he's very lucky to have a beautiful sister. You know how that's not how it works, right? I don't know what you're talking about, man. You're giving too much thoughts into my words and deeds. Well, you know, okay. I'm just saying, I'm not cool with it. You're gonna roll with Mario, you're gonna keep your hand. Listen, man, it was the spur of the moment. Didn't really know what else to say. I was captivated by the beauty. Okay. Keep that, in the, you know. Let's see. This shooting star summit. Stars are really a shooting. People say that this place, like no other, reaches up and embraces the sky. Star piece? No. No, I didn't. Wee. 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 We you're gonna really make me go all the way up. Yeah, they are. To be fair, it is a very nice uh, summit. Welcome, Mario. We've been waiting for you. We are the seven star spirits. Our job is to grant the wishes of good people from our home. 
in Starhaven, a place high beyond the sky. We're going to tell you something incredibly important. Please listen carefully. The other day, Bowser and his followers invaded our peaceful Starhaven. They stole our prized treasure, the Star Rod, which we've cared for since the beginning of time. The Star Rod is powerful beyond belief. It can grant any wish. As for as long as we can remember, Bowser has been making wishes like, for instance, I like to trounce Mario, or I want Princess Peach to like me. Of course, stars ignore such selfish wishes. As a result, his wishes were never granted. Bowser, that fiend, when we found that he were ignoring his wishes, he came and stole the star rod so he could grant his own. He seems content right now, mainly because he defeated you and captured the princess. Soon enough, though, I fear he will wish for more, and then terrible things will happen. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm trying to do Popeye the Sailor Man, but trying to do it in the kind of voice that they got going, like, oh, do, 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 do. Is, uh... It's literally impossible. So, for now, just assume it. It uh, is the responsibility of the seven star spirits to keep the star rod safe and use it properly. We must get the star rod back from Bowser and return it to its rightful place. In order to do this, Mario, we need your help. Sadly, right now you are not strong enough to challenge Bowser. He has made himself all powerful by making wishes with the Star Rod. He is terrible to behold. Once we seven Star Spirits are reunited in Star Haven, we can give you the power to fight Bowser. Even with his newfound strength, with our help, you can prevail. Mario, we are. Alas, we're nearly exhausted our power to talk to you. Although it looks like we're there beside you, it's only an illusion. We're using all your strength to communicate with you over a great distance, but even now our strength is fading. We've been caught in, and you are being held by Bowser's followers in different places throughout the Mushroom Kingdom. Please, Mario, first of all, you must rescue us. In order to take the Star Rod back from Bowser and save Princess Peach, we need your help. Please, Mario. You are our last hope, and we will. Mario, it looks like things are a lot more serious than I thought. Do you think the princess is going to be alright? I'm really worried about her. Save and continue. Mario's probably hurt. Everyone's in prison. The Mushroom Kingdom will be destroyed if things continue the way they're going. Something must be done. If only somebody could help me. Yo, 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 yo! It's me! <laughs> My dear Princess Peach, how are you doing this fine day? It's no use waiting for Mario this time, my dear. We're so high above the sky right now, even Mario doesn't have a chance of reaching us up here. 
You know, Princess, as long as I have this star rod, no one in the Mushroom Kingdom can touch me. You know the power that grants everyone's wishes? It's mine. Isn't that just wonderful? <laughs> Imagine what it's like down in your kingdom. Your subjects must be so upset because their wishes aren't being granted. How delightful. They deserve it for the way they've treated us Koopas over the years. If you know you want something, all you need to do is ask me, Princess. I can grant wishes. Of course, I'll grant any request that I like. Anyway, think about it. You take care, Princess Peach. Enjoy your stay here. You watch yourself, Princess. You better not cause trouble. <laughs> Oh, please, if only somebody could help me. Mm -hmm. Huh? Hey! 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 Whee! Hello, Princess Peach. Pleased to meet you. My name is Twink. Please don't confuse it for any other kind of preference. My name was made a long time ago! Before Twink became known for something else. But you're you're a star kid, aren't you? How'd you get here? I came from Star Haven to grant your wish. It's our job to grant wishes, you know. Oh, you came because I wished that somebody would help me. Yes, of course. Oh, that's just great. Thank you so much for coming. Here's my wish. Go right now and take the star ride back from Bowser, okay? I think you can do it. Mm, I'm sorry. It's a little too much for a novice star like me. Maybe one of the honorable star spirits from Star Haven could grant a wish like that. I'm so sorry. Please ask for something easy, something a stall, small star can do. Then, can you take me away from here? Everyone in my castle has been captured and I have to save them all as soon as possible. Oh, I'm, I, I can't grant that wish either, I'm afraid. Actually, I just got called up to do the sky uh, days ago, so I can't do big wishes yet. If I were a more splendid star, maybe I could actually help. It's alright. Don't be sad, Twink. Mario will definitely do something to save us all. He's probably coming right now. Oh, Twink, do you think you can find Mario? I want you to give this to him. This is Lucky Star, isn't it? Okay, I'll do it, Princess Peach. I'll fly to the Mushroom Kingdom just as quick as I can. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Oh, wait, Twink. Wait one second. Can you also... Please tell Mario that. I'm fine and he shouldn't worry, okay? Can you tell him that? Of course! I'll tell him your exact words, Princess Peach. Definitely. Now, don't despair. I'll be back, so stay, stay safe it's until I return, okay? Mmm, good kid. Good kid. Mario, where are you? Probably down below. This is a rhetorical question. Wee! 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 Ow! Oh, sorry, so sorry, I'm in a huge hurry. Oh, it's your Mario, aren't you? Thanks the stars, I found you. Wop 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 wop. How do you do? I'm Twink. D again, not like the the thing. D D Princess Peach asked me to bring something to you. Ah, yes, here it is. Here, this is it. Take it. Take it from me, Twink. You just got a lucky star. That's the lucky star from Princess Peach. Now that it's yours, you can use the action command. May I take a moment to explain what the action command? Yeah, sure, I don't. Okay, let me explain. Let me see. Hang on. You, behind Mario, would you like to help me dis demonstrate something? Me? The name's Gimbario. Of course I'll help. Well, Mario and Gimbario, let's begin. First, Mario. 
Choose the jump command and then decide which enemy you want to attack. Once you decide on the enemy, the explanation of the action command will appear. Right now, just before stomping the enemy. <laughs> well, here's where I am. In the it really does look like Mario just fucking froze in time. Nice. When you see nice appear, it means you've successfully used the action command. When you do, you'll increase the amount of damage you do. Okay, now this time, Gumbario, you try to attack Mario. Okay, here it comes, Mario. Hello, God. Right now. Press A just before the attack strikes you. Yes, you successfully use the action command. You will reduce the amount of damage you receive. Often, you'll have to use different techniques to make use of the action command, so it depends on the attack. Try attacking by hammer. Once you choose an enemy to attack, move the control stick to the left. Okay, move the control stick. Move the control stick to the left and keep it there. Don't let go. Uh, star flashes, yeah, do it. Alright, you successfully used the action command. Well, Mario, do you understand the ins and outs of the action command? Let's practice a bit to make sure you've mastered how to use it properly. No. You don't need to practice anymore? That's our Mario, you're a quick learner. Well, I guess that's about all I can teach you. Once you understand how to use the action uh, command properly, you'll, have be, you'll be even more powerful. Terrific! You'll be much tougher in battle now. Here you are. Oh. No, it's a different Magic Koopa. What? It can't be. Were you following me? What a foolish star. What a foolish star kid. I knew that if I followed you, I'd find Mario. If I defeat Mario right now, I'll be famous. I'll tell Kami Koopa she'll show me a prize. She'll give me a raise. Here I come. I'm coming, Twink. Shit, I should have used... God damn it. I should have used the tattle ability while I was in the air. This is Magic Koopa. Magic Koopas use magical rods. Max HP 8, attack power 3, defense power 0. Magic attacks are no joke, Mario. You better take these guys seriously. Wow. Shit. Fear to my feet. Ow. We I can't damn really I missed the timing on that. There we go. We Alright, he's got it. God damn it, really? <laughs> I missed it again? Well done, Mario. You're as strong as they say. You murdered him. I know you'll be able to defeat Bowser. I'm going to return to Princess Peach's side. I'm not strong enough to really help her, but at least I can tell her you're okay. Well, Mario, see you later. Wee. Oh dear, I almost forgot to tell you the message for Princess Peach. I'm alright, so don't worry about me. That's exactly what she said. I get the feeling, though, that she's very lonely. Anyway, I'll do my best to help the both of you. But please be brave, you must save Princess Peach. <laughs> there he goes, back to Bowser's castle. What a brave little guy. Okay, Mario, let's get down to business. I feel like I need to have, like, a battle to justify some of the things. Let me see. Oh, Mario! Merlon was looking for you. He lives in the house with the spinning roof. I has to tell you to go meet him at his house. I was just about to go look for you, but you're here you are. It's rare for Merlon to call somebody over to his house. He's a bit of an eccentric, but even when he has visitors, they're afraid to come out of the house at all. Okay. Sounds fucking ominous, but whatever. Yeah, star piece. Alright, I'm gonna save. We will continue this 
in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching. If you made it all the way to the end of this video, remember to leave a like. It does help me a whole bunch. <laughs> it does actually help me keep motivated to keep making videos of this. Especially on these videos that I'm never 100% sure how many people are going to like me just doing voices for like 40 minutes. But uh, thank you guys for watching, and until next time, you guys have a good day. Peace out.